Today we're doing a quick review of the awesome Kershaw Launch 2. Sweet auto knife, but being discontinued, so buy them while they're here, right now. Welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching again. If you haven't already, please click subscribe before you take off. Really appreciate that. Today we're talking about the Kershaw Launch 2. Um, if you haven't seen my Launch 4 review, um, I'll annotate it up above. It'll also be at the end of the video. Uh, that's a great knife and you can see all about that. This is its big brother, the Launch 2. Now I'm doing this review, it's kind of a goofy one for me because they've already discontinued this knife. So uh, that means that once they're done, they're done. They may bring it back in the future, but so get it while it's here. That's a great little knife and let's dive into it. So the Launch 2, uh, this model is stonewashed with CPM 154 steel blade uh, with a slight upper bevel. The gray anodized aluminum handle is outfitted with a black finished hardware pivot and pocket clip. Uh, these knives have a compelling design fast action, high performance material, and they're made in the USA, which I love. Uh, each of the models features a stylish and unique integral backspacer pattern, uh, which is really unique on this one. And the USA flag is engraved on the back side of the handle, which you can see uh, right here. It has a uh, reversible tip up carry for left and right handed handling. And also it's outfitted with a pass-through hole hidden in the base of the handle for a lanyard attachment, uh, if that's your thing. So this is a really fast action little knife. It's not super expensive for an auto, just like the rest of the launch series. I like this stonewashed, ionized uh, look that they have. They have a, a black and a blue and a few others. Um, right now on Blade HQ's website, when posting this video, they still have about five or six models available and I'll link to those down below if you're interested. But let me tell you a little bit about this knife uh, so you can make a better decision. So as you can see, uh, it's really fast action, really pops out and gives you a good, really strong deployment. The knife is razor sharp. It is good fit in the hand. There's no grooves. It's all just kind of that sloped look um, that you can see there, uh, but it is, really feels good in the hand in my hand which is kind of a large size hand um, it really feels good in the hand for for a handling there is no jimping on the back which if you've watched any of my other videos you'll know i don't love that i love jimping jimping's great it gives you more grip the more grip the better uh, we all don't use knives in easy clean conditions um, but that said uh, there is places if you would like to i'm not going to do it on this one uh, just because I want to kind of keep it original because it is discontinued. Uh, but you could put jimping on the back back there. Uh, one thing that I am not a huge fan of, again, worried about my hand slipping, is that there's really no change between where the bottom of your hand's going to be and the blade. So if you slip up, it's it could be not good for you. So um, that's something to think about if you're going to use this in extreme conditions. But uh, for the most part, this is a... My EDC knife that you're going to carry on a daily basis. Um, this is going to be, you know, cutting open boxes and uh, maybe doing a little food prep. And uh, you're just going to have to be careful. I wouldn't stab stuff with this. I wouldn't, you know, get real aggressive. Um, this would be more of a, a light to medium use knife, uh, in my humble opinion. So because of that, really, uh, it just, it would make me nervous. This material just doesn't have very much grip to it. So, um, so there's that. Let me tell you a little bit about the specs of the knife, uh, just real quick. So just a few quick specs for you here. The overall length is just under eight inches. Uh, blade length is three and a third, approximately. Uh, blade thickness is a little over a tenth of an inch. Uh, blade material, as I mentioned before, is CPM 154. It is a drop point style blade. The handle material is that really cool stone wash uh, look to it. It's a plain edge, this one. There is a serra partial serrated edge version. Uh, the handle length is four and a half inches and the overall handle thickness is just about, um, just under a half an inch. So uh, just real quick specs. So wrapping this up quick because uh, this is one of those dives you wanna get over there and get to it quick. 
Um, I think it's a great little knife. If you like the design, uh, it feels solid. The blade is uh, a good CPM 154 steel, which should keep a good edge for you. A good solid medium grade steel. I love the look. Uh, I think it's something that you're gonna want in your collection. Uh, th I will say this blade retails for about 140. When I bought this not too long ago, it was 105 dollars. Uh, right now you can buy it as low as $69 on Blade HQ site. So um, link below, I'll link to all the different styles. You can see what is in stock. There's some that are already gone and like I say, they're discontinued, so they are what they are. But uh, get on, buy one and have in your collection if you are a collector because this one may never come back. And uh, I think you'll kick yourself if you don't have it. Thank you very much. Subscribe before you leave and until next time.